Welcome, in front of me is a Xiaomi Pad 6 and today I will show you how we can capture a screenshot on this device. So, to get started, open up content that you wish to capture. I'll be using home screen as an example for this, so it's already open and visible on my screen. Just make sure that whatever you want to capture is actually visible right now on your screen. And from there, you have two different ways of capturing a screenshot. Uh, the first one, which might be a little bit more convenient and simple, is using your three fingers on the display. You want to swipe down, like so. And as you can see, it captures screenshot, gives us two options, scroll and send, and this disappears. Now, that being said, as you've probably seen, the send option that was visible right here was grayed out because there is nothing really to scroll down on. Uh, so this would work in not here. Well, let's see. So I sh it should function in here. Yep, so this would function as a scrollable screenshot. So just to kind of uh, show you this. Oh no, it actually doesn't. Interesting. So it might be getting kind of messed up because there are aspects of it that don't move. So when I start scrolling, as you can see, we have the bar at the bottom that isn't moving. And yeah, that's about it, to be honest. So that might be actually affecting it. Let's see if we can find anything else that would actually work with this. Maybe this. Still no. That is actually very odd. I'm going to try portrait mode and still. Okay, I'm um, not sure why it's not working. In normal circumstances, anything that you can scroll down that is taking full screen should proc scrollable screenshot, but for some reason it's not really working here. Yeah, I have no way to actually showcase this. But in any case, you can tweak it, uh, well, tweak around with it if you manage to get or find content that you can actually capture a scrollable screenshot on. Now, I just showed you right now a single way of capturing a screenshot. Now, the second way uh, will be by holding your power button and volume down at the same time. So you just press both of them and it captures your screenshot as well. So those are two different ways. Now, once you have captured your screenshot, you can find it in your gallery application and it will be visible in the photos section right here. So it, after some time, if you're planning to come back to a screenshot, look for it. It might be a little bit harder to find it in the photos, uh, considering anything that you download, capture will be visible on here. So any kind of camera photos, screenshots, uh, video recordings, screen recordings, and all that downloaded images will show up here. So what I recommend doing is navigating to the album and then selecting the screenshots and screen recordings. And here we have two different tabs. Now by default, it actually will be on the screenshot tab, which obviously will contain only the screenshots that I have captured on this device. And here are all the screenshots that I have captured while recording this video. So there we go. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.